Welcome back to the Cathedral Ward. You might be wondering why I'm here of all places. Let's play with the cleaver of all things. Why not? I mean the bone spear. Oh, you're not you're not panicking anymore. Anyway, the reason I'm here is because well, let's get some really quick blood from her. Gimme, 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 gimme. Yeah. Bonus healing item. Not that I'm really short on stuff anyway. I'm here because I originally avoided going in a certain area because little hunter lady was over here and she was like, Don't go into that place downstairs because I'm going to hunt that puss and not you. But then turns out Hunter Henrik was in the Gascon boss chamber, so now I have no fucking clue where this elevator goes and I might as well just go check it out because I have yet to explore it. Oh, it goes up. Wow. Wow. I'm so used to these going down instead of up in here. So I, I, I misinterpreted which way it was even going to go in the first place. So, what is up here? Oh! There is an old man, and he... He's in a... He's got a machine gun, and he's in a... <sighs> he's adorable! Can I keep him? I mean, I can't. He's trying to murder me. Hey, buddy. Alright, you tried. Good job. Quick silver bullets. It's just like the other... <laughs> That's the second time I've been attacked by an old man who can't stand. Is just sitting in a freaking chair. But they've been... He he got upgrades. I'll give him that. Chest? Still safe. I wonder if you can break chests in this game. You could break them in previous Dark Souls games and destroy whatever's in them. Communion. That reminds me. Let's check this out real quick. I got, we got communion, but I also got blood rapture. Ooh, visceral attacks restore 200 hit points. That's pretty fucking cool. So we got this from, uh, we got this when I killed the shadow of, uh, of Yarn, Sh was it called the shadow of Yarnum? Whatever, the shadow boss we did, that was a three part boss. Uh, I, I, I picked it up and I was just hitting A because I, I was distracted by the fight itself and I didn't really pay attention to which what I got from it. A kale rune that transcribes inhuman sounds. Blood Rapture is a the raw euphoria of the warmth of blood. Restores hit points with visceral attacks, one of the darker hunter techniques. This rune resonates with servants of the queen, carrier of the child of blood who yearns for their queen's blood with little hope of requitment. Uh, for them, they find solace in the Blood Rapture. This serves as a surrogate for their desires. So that makes it so your visceral attacks, which I need to get better at doing anyway, will make you actually heal. Which is a big deal, because up, up till now, the only way to heal is using a consumable, because the, the healing you do by hitting people only recovers temporarily what damage you just took. And you can't get back other health you lost l longer ago, like more than four seconds ago. So this gives me, oh, plus one uh, blood vials, that's interesting. Uh, it's a communion rune, left by the runesmith Bergenworth. A, uh... Several runes relate to blood, including communion, which raises the maximum number of blood vials one may carry. This rune represents the healing church and its ministers. Blood ministration, of course, the pursuit of communion. This is a weird thing to have as a rune. A lot of these things are just like, it makes you stronger in various ways and recover in various ways. Like, those make sense because they're all abstract concepts of your internal stats and everything like that. This one, that one, this one just lets you carry more items. Just fucking put another thing in the bag and you're carrying more of them. You did it. You don't need to memorize a special rune to carry another blood vial. Doesn't make any sense. Oh well. Oh, hello friend. Oh god, why? Are you a hunter or just some dude? Someone's shooting at me from a stairs, so I don't want to, I don't want to play with you right now. Ow. Rude. Oh! Your friends are still hitting me from outside. I don't like that at all. I don't like that one bit. Well, he's taken care of. So what are we gonna have? They just shooting at me, so I just have to run for it. Running, running, running. All right, I'm outside their attack range. But now what other dangers are there? So I go inside this building or go around it? I'm gonna go around first. Healing church workshop. Oh, it's a new workshop. The workshop is the is where you go to to do all your basic functions in the weird like level up area. Oh wow! Judging from that shadow, the guy upstairs is in a wheelchair. That's kind of neat. So those are becoming a regular thing now, apparently. Anything around to this backside? Oh hello! Come back here. Come no, you don't. Oh no! Oh oh oh! I'm alive. I'm alive, but where am I? Well, more twin shards. That'll probably- that might let me upgrade the, uh, spear again, I suppose. Anyone around? I'm trying to be dicks and shit? 
I skip I kind of skipped a step by falling down here didn't I oh well I'll be able to go back up and explore later oh this is all rickety and nasty looking you definitely get the feeling of a uh, Dark Souls 2 uh, the, the gutter or it's just a very vertical area full of wood objects and you just find and because of Dark Souls 2 I don't know if I can trust these wood objects to stay solid when I land on them which makes everything even more concerning uh, dying light also attributes to that uh, that fear that it's just gonna collapse because that in that game it happens all the time too uh, let's go back over here this is the way this is the way down now there we go they like to have their platforming to be fair it feels better in this game than it has in the past your uh, your control and uh, and agility when you're controlling your character in this sort of situation is way more accurate than it's ever been in a souls game uh, especially Demon Souls. Oh my god. I love you, Demon- Messenger Top Hat. Alright. Like, Demon Souls is one of my favorite games ever, but Jesus Christ, the platforming segments that they very- they almost never put in there, but are there every now and then? So bad. In particular, if you make the mistake of going through- actually, yeah, the whole- the whole mining level has a verticality area before the flame lurker, where no matter what path you take, it pretty much involves some level of, like, stupid- Stupid platforming. Do I have to jump for it? Oh, I don't like that one bit. Oh, what's down there? What's down there, and if I go down there, how do I get back up? Take a step forward. I mean, yeah, I want the item. Please don't fall. And the item is... I'm hearing breathing still. Madman's knowledge. Neato. How do I... What do I go from here? Oh god, the level keeps going down there too? Where do I go from here? Take a step forward. No! I don't want- Oh, there's a platform down there. There is. What about that door down there, though? How do I get there? I might have to just try to jump for it. Say your prayers, little one. Well, I don't- I, I shouldn't be too concerned. I have, like, no blood vials, so... Starting over would actually be easier to explore from where I, where I was trying to go before. Oh, no, I didn't hit the jump button properly. Ow! Ow, I'm alive. Everything hurts. There's a weird reptile man over there. Oh, is that just a beast, dude? Okay. Well, I missed a few things on the way down. Quite a few things, I might say. There's no way of getting back up, so you just have to deal with this dude. I might give it a second run to see if I can get some better platforming. I'd probably edit the crap out of that, but... <laughs> a little disappointed that I didn't see stuff better. Is this just a normal wolf man? I can't lock onto him. Is he friendly? Hello? Oh, he's not friendly. Oh, well, look, it's this guy. The guy I just fought as a boss. Huh. Headshot! I learned your weakness earlier. Lulz. It's super effective. That is a cool monster design. Oh, beast. Another rune. How do we have so many runes? They're drowning me in them now. Beast rune. Boosts effect of temporary transformation. Boost of plus 20, whatever the fuck that means in that context. A transcription of the roar of a labyrinth beast, the bearer of the beast rune has accentuated temporary transformation effects. Beast is one of the early Carol runes, as well as the first to be deemed forbidden. Fair Bolton. Uh, the discovery of blood entailed the discovery of undesirable, undesirable beasts. So many runes, I should get around to getting the actual rune item sometime. I also might have to redo this platforming section to some extent just to see what I missed, because I, I have to have missed something. Alright, so that guy is just an, an enemy you just kind of see around. I just happened to have not encountered one yet when I found the, fought him as a boss, so I didn't know that at the time. Where am I? This just led out somewhere. Have I been here before? I feel like I may have been here before. Let's check to see if I recognize this NPC or not. Oh. A hunter of beasts, are you? Glory be. You know not the value you possess. But, more's the pity. The hours of the night are many, and the beasts, more than I can count. A veritable hunt unending. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. No! 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 
Oh man, thank god for headphones. I heard the footsteps coming. I was not cool with that. Alright. Whip mode for this. Stay away. Oh, dog, why? Why dog? Why does there have to be dogs? Huh. So that was a trap, right? That had to be a trap. Like, oh yes, come talk to me at my little door. You know not what value you possess. Here comes the ambush. Thank goodness for headphones. So, you have something to say now that I survived your ambush, asshole? Oh. A hunter of glory, but the hours of the night, not even death. A most frightful fate. Only... Oh but, but I'm willing to do you a kindness. Step lightly round to the right of the great cathedral and seek an ancient shrouded church. The gift of the Godhead will grant you strength. Yes, I'm unquestionably certain. <laughs> Tonsil stone? Gross. Where does the tonsil stone show up on here? Where does it sh Is it a key? It's a key? Why is it a key? A, a lattice door deformed rock. That's not what I describe a tonsil stone as being. Uh, probably shouldn't Google tonsil stones. <laughs> or perhaps a meteorite. Appears useless, but possess some odd gravitational force that prevents its riddance. A dubious soul once said, Step lightly around to the right of the great church and seek, seek an ancient shrouded church. I mean, great cathedral. Uh, the gift of the godhead will grant you strength. Whatever that means. So this guy's saying to go right around the cathedral. I guess that ambush wasn't his, it was just a happenstance, because he didn't have any reaction to the fact that I survived. Not even death offers solace, and the blood imbibes you. Seek you the ancient shrouded church. The yeah, nothing new there. So he's not exactly looking for salvation, is he? Let's see. We have a few paths to pick from. Oh, never mind. This one's a dead end. Oh, it's the crows. Always with the crows. Get out of there. Get out of my sky. That's my sky. That's a good weapon for fighting those assholes. Oh, those are shitty Yarnum clothes. <laughs> uh, rumpled Yarnum hat. Well worn, losing its shape. These are just the shitty clothes that the characters wear all the time. I wonder if I can dress. If I dress as them, will they not notice, recognize me? Well worn and damped with sweat. I wonder if I can disguise myself. Be, that'd be interesting. Look at me, I'm just some asshole. Look, I'm on your team. It's probably not going to work, but it'd be amusing if it did. Uh, I like how well this weapon spikes the... Uh... <gasps> okay, dog's not fooled. That's what I get for looking away for one second. Uh, this, is a ne this is a confusing environment so far. Alright. Guess they're not fooled. They are not fooled one bit. You fell for it, though. You fell for that. How many directions can enemies come from in this area? There's an elevator? Elevator to what? I guess I'll just find out. When in, when in doubt, always activate an elevator because it could lead to a crazy shortcut you've never seen yet. And you never know where it goes till you try it. Where have you taken me to? Cathedral ward? Oh, hey! Thick Cold Blood 6. Okay, so right down there is the Cathedral Ward area. You have to, you run up these stairs as a shortcut, and the boss chamber is right over there. So if I went upstairs and to the side, I'd go to where he was just talking about. So now that's... I mean, it's not really much of a shortcut, because you can't really get here from the other direction, but... That, uh... Now I at least know how to get to that. Uh, what was my chest piece? Fuck it, gas cone, I don't care. Just something that's better equipment than what I was wearing a second ago. I'll pay, I'll pay closer attention to what I'm wearing later. Oh man, I'm gonna get lost fast, aren't I? There's a lot of directions here. Uh, is that going to lead me back to with the door I knocked on? Probably. I hear depth. I hear door. I hear doorsteps. There's someone around. There's, there's someone, but I can't see them. Oh, hello, friend. Hello. How you doing? Oh yeah, you're one of the guys that hits. You're the one of the guys that hits harder. And takes less damage, so I have to be careful around you. Uh, well, he didn't walk into my attack at all. Ooh! Oh, he isn't. He mad at me. 
Finish him off, maybe? Nope. Oop. These guys get really aggressive. No likey. Uh-oh. 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 That's bad for me. It's bad for a number of reasons. Hit him. I uh, hit him. Is he dead? He's dead. All right, yeah, I went in a circle. This is that we're back at the door that where I talked to the dude. Bloodstone shard. Take a look, see around. No other doors to knock on. They don't have lamps outside them, which is, I mean, the incense, I believe. There's where the dog attacked me. Yeah, so it's all looping together now. So is there anywhere else to go besides? I think this is a new area. Yeah. We'll see where this goes. What is that little guy? Oh, he looks cute. What's he doing? Got a little spiky hat? Anyone behind me? No? You're an enemy. Oh. Oh, he looks nasty. Oh, wait. He's a, he's a Cthulhu guy. He's got all the tentacles. Are there any surprises around here? No? Chain mode. Jump attack. Alright. Keep your distance. Keep your distance. What's he doing? Oh god, he's casting nasty spells. No, 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 no. No. Oh, that's nasty. See, that's all sorts of gross. I don't want none of that. Oh, no. He's like a leech monster. Oh, no, he did it again? Come on, man. I barely moved. Oh, god. That's really gross. Please let me go. Time to run away, because I need to heal, but... That guy's a dick. Hey, buddy. Shoot him a little. Oh, god damn it, he did it again. Oh, this guy's the worst. Come on. This gets obnoxious fast. Oh, and he, he's eating my insight away. I'm losing insight every time he does this. Oh, come on, I didn't even stand up yet, and you're already casting your goddamn spell again. Fuck your shit. Shoot him over and over again. Bitch, I have bullets. <laughs> well, I guess I don't have to worry about spending that insight. Jesus. What, what was there? Fire, gemstone. And it's otherwise a dead end, right? Oh, yeah. Well, that guy was nasty. He, he took hits pretty well. I don't think he... I thought... I, I stopped thinking he was cute when he started attacking me with horrible tentacle attacks. That's when he got less cool in my book. Alright, so... I think I'm actually going to go head back into the healing church workshop because when I fell down, I kind of completely skipped what I was going for the first time around. I never got to fight the guy in the uh, wheelchair and stuff like that. So you guys will recognize this in a second. Here we go. Yeah, this is the uh, this is the church area. That's the first guy that ever kidnapped me. You never forget your first. I hope they don't follow me in here. That'd be awkward. Hey, lady. And I got to call the elevator back. And hopefully no one follows me in here to attack me. Do they follow you in here? I hope not. Yeah. Stuff hopefully leashes the moment you walk in here. Otherwise it'd be pretty awkward. Alright, up we go. Let's try not to get... Let's try not, let's try not to fall to my doom this time. Alright. Hey guys, how's it going? Don't mind me. Don't worry, I'm gonna stay indoors this time. I learned, I learned the uh, downside of going outdoors ever. Like any nerd should know. Oh, hey, friend. That was behind me. I don't like that at all. Very underhanded tactics there, sir. Dodging backwards and forward slash. Oh, that didn't work. Not I. Not as planned. Those guys haven't even seen me yet. I'll show you. Ow. Jump attack. I'll show you haven't noticed me yet. Now you'll never notice me ever. There we go. Taken care of. And my reward is a mimic, because I didn't hit it that time. Uh, just a gemstone. Another another kind. Sort through the quality of those later. They just give them to me so quickly. At least the gems are all unique properties. Those ones are just kind of whatever. Is it a trap? No, it doesn't seem to, to drop. I was half expecting that thing to like just drop you out. Maybe it's just there to be a cool effect so you know where you are in relation to something else. What's up here? Oh, there's another wheelchair guy. I'm gonna hang out down here with... Where I can fight this guy one-on-one -on -one without getting in his way. Hey, buddy. That's adorable. You think you're people. Get out of here. Alright, so... Of course he would drop something in line of sight of this guy. Uh, nice tr Well, you tried, buddy. You tried. 
I wouldn't be surprised if that straight up killed you too if it hit you. Because that's probably... I mean, it's a machine gun. The only other machine gun we've seen was pretty dangerous. Oh god, hello friend. So I've been playing with, a, with the Hunter's Axe, preparing a character for co-op. Because I, I was playing... Oh wow, one shot. The idea was to do a co-op series with Wanderbot, like we generally do, and that'll probably be coming soon. I think we're, we're planning on recording it tomorrow, which is not tomorrow for you, but tomorrow for me. Tomorrow the time I'm recording right now. <laughs> uh, it might even be out by now. I don't I don't know. Uh, but I've been working with Hunter's Axe. What really caught me off guard is that that strength weapon, you like fully charge its R2 and hit somebody. Ow! He knew I was coming. You fully charge the R2 of the Hunter's Axe when it's in two-handed mode. And that shit is no joke. Like, those big giant guys that seem like they would never get knocked back by anything? Uh-oh. They, they get knocked back by the Hunter's Axe. Like, they, they, get sent, they get sent sailing through the air. It's comical. They completely ragdoll and it completely knocks them back. And keep, they, leaves you completely safe. It's like the best weapon for, for fighting them, probably. And I, was, I never expected that, because of course, Threaded Cane doesn't do that. <laughs> Uh, the cane doesn't really have the the whip mode doesn't really have a tendency to send people sailing. It's more of a Hopefully it hurts them without and I have time to roll away afterwards because their attacks still coming This is sort of how threaded cane goes, which I guess is why it's, it scales with skill anything on the other side So mostly just getting blood. All right So we'll find out what the main door leads to this is the, we're back in the healing workshop and I don't know what we're gonna be getting ourselves into is that another guy in a chair? Oh, there's a number of chairs around here Spooky, scary chairs. Ow, ow, that fight. How did you look? How did you manage to create fire that goes through walls? What is this alchemy? I don't like, I don't like your tech. Get out of here. Is he also attacking with fire? No, he's not. He's dead. He's attacking with laughs and... Oh, I see you. Do you have any more surprises coming at me? Are you the only one? Huh. I thought there'd be more of them. More bullets I can't carry? I'm actually using them now, so I don't feel bad. I've been using them fairly often in this in this run. What do you have? I was just getting done saying how I'd- Oh, Radiant Sword Hunter Badge. What does that give me? What does that give me? I guess we'll learn when we get back to town. What's behind this door? Look at this pot room. Remember wheelchair, but no mercy for infected ones. Time for rolling. Fuck. You... Pots... Get out... Of my... Place... Now... What's fucked up is that since they're all pots, there's a good chance that they, uh... They could easily be full of, like, human ashes. In fact, the ground's covered in what looks like ashes right now. I'm a monster. Locked. Locked. Well... That's happened twice now, we've had a room full of pots and a locked door. I remember last time I was like, I figured, what if you can't open it because the door is locked? I mean, what if you can't open the door because you broke the pots? If that's the case, I just did it twice. Oh well. Well, we cleared our way up. I'm gonna go back down to try to do some platforming and see if we can get some of the stuff I missed before. Oh no. Oh no. That didn't work. That didn't work for me at all. Can I just jump down? Oh no. Well, I hit the platform. Alright, so I went and lost all of those 6,000 souls, which, you know, not a lot of souls, so it's fine. Because I tried to jump for that one platform over and over again, didn't have any luck, gave up eventually. So let's look at the Radiant Sword Hunter badge. Uh, it's for Ludwig's successors. One of the badges crafted by the Healing Church, the Radiant Sword indicates the heirs to the will of Ludwig. These hunters, also known as Holy Blades, are what remains of ancient line of heroes that date back to a very early age of honor and chivalry. So there should be new stuff to buy at the, at the store now because I have that. Probably a new type of weapon, but we'll see. We'll check everything for new stuff. Uh, this all looks familiar. That looks familiar. There's probably a new weapon in there, but we'll check. Oh. Flame sprayer. That's what they were attacking me with before. How much does it use? Only one bullet. It has fire attack. Pro it's probably weaker. I wouldn't be surprised. A special weapon used by, by certain members of the Healing Church spits searing flames by using blood imbued quicksilver bullets at a spe as a special medium. Uh, not the most efficient weapon by any stretch, but sometimes a sea of flame is just what the doctor ordered. Besides, the Beast of Yarnum can always use a good cleansing. So we just- oh, and Ludwig's rifle. Wow. These are some expensive pieces of equipment. This one's 10,000 uh, 
blood to pick up. Uh, a rifle typically used by healing church hunters. It is said that this rifle was employed by Ludwig, uh, the first hunter of the church. Its long, heavy barrel makes it up in range for what it lacks in reload speed. Ludwig's rifle exhibits several departures from the workshop's design, suggesting that the church anticipated much larger inhuman beasts. Only one shot per round. It does 20 damage, so it's a... Uh, it's not a high damager. It must be, it must have good range, I guess. But is it worth it if it doesn't really do much damage? It's it, if it's long range, slow weapon. It's probably not good for countering. Ooh, tomb prospector guard garb. Is that new? Don't rec I don't recognize these. Let's see. Is there a new weapon around here? Saw cleaver, saw spear, thirty cane, kirk hammer, stake diver, tantris. So none of these weapons are new, unfortunately. A unique trick weapon contrived by Archibald. This was already here. I don't remember if I read it or not, though. Striking this peculiar iron, Morning Star Flail, like a match. Generally, it's the same blue sparks that blanket the Dark Beast. Unfortunately, for reasons I'm told, the hunters of Archibald timed, did not fully take this uh, take to this device. So it's like an electric... It's like an electric flail weapon or something? That sounds pretty freaking sweet. Yep, it does bolt attack. Interesting. But yeah, no new surprise equipment here. Oh, well.